Hi guys, welcome back. It's Mrs. Peterson, that lady who teaches art. And today I am going to show you how to draw a bottle contour. So you remember from years past that a contour line drawing is where we draw the shape um, of the outside of the item with a line. In fourth grade, you did your shoes. This year in fifth grade, we are going to do um, a still life of paint bottles um, and an interesting composition. So um, a composition that's visually appealing to our eyes is when we have three things of different sizes, um, and that can be like widths, like this darker bottle is thicker than this white bottle, or of different heights. So this one, um, the bright orangey pink one, is shorter. So when I put these together, it makes an interesting composition. So we're going to set those up, and um, you are going to draw that group of them. So you, I'm going to set these a little bit off my camera, but I'll show you. They're just sitting on my table like this. And then you are going to draw the composition of those together. You're going to use a Sharpie marker today because once we put our marker down, we don't want to pick it up. You can decide if you want your paper to go up and down or side to side. Uh, my composition is taller rather than wider, um, but I'm going to go this way just because. We want to draw these big. We don't want to just take up a little part of our paper right here. We want to draw them and use our space well. And you'll notice that when you're drawing, you know that the top of these bottles are circles, uh, but you won't see a circle when you're drawing. It'll look more like an oval. So I'm going to start at the top of the biggest bottle because that will establish how high up on my paper it goes. So I'm going to start there. And remember, once I put my marker down, I don't pick it back up. And I'm looking a lot at what I'm drawing and not a ton, or sorry, I'm looking a lot at the object and not a ton at um, what I'm drawing. So if I go here, there's like a little thing like that. Okay, I'm going to trace back over my lines. And then from here, it doesn't actually start down here. It starts up here. It goes down. It's like a circle. Comes up. Down. And then from here, I see it has like a down. Comes around. Goes up. Comes straight down. And then again, it has like a little around part. Now, a lot of kids will ask me about the labels. I'm going to switch markers because it's really bad. If that happens to you, you can do that too. Just put your marker back down where it was. Um, I'm going to finish this line off. A lot of kids will ask me about labels. I don't like to write the um, any of the words that are on there but I do like to have the labels. Okay, when you get that bottle done, you're gonna trace over and find your next bottle. So I'm gonna see where it touches and it looks like it's coming off right about here. I'm gonna have the circle for the top of it and then the um, lid goes up. I have the oval for the top here and little tiny skinny part for this top down, around, and this one, I don't see that lip thing that I saw before, but I see lots of little, it's like this. Okay, then from here, up and around, and then oval. Come back. And this one comes in, but before it goes all the way across, I actually have that small bottle right here, and it comes down, around, has a little detail there at the bottom, goes back up, around, straight up. And then I have the lid. All those details. So there's a fine little edge right there. Something like that. Trace back. Okay, now I forgot the labels on this one, so I want to go back and get the label. Notice those are curved at the top and the bottom. And I definitely forgot the label on this one, too, which goes all the way off on this side. 
and I go up here, it's going to go across and come down. When you are done, you are going to sign your paper in the bottom right hand corner. First name, last initial, and then put your class 5A, B, or C, whatever you are. All right, guys, I can't wait to see what you create.